America. Hey guys, welcome to Build Dad Build, where I promise to never overuse the phrase game changer. On this episode, we're going to be building an American flag out of wood and staining it with fire. We're going to need 13 slats to make up our flag. Those slats are going to be 37 inches long and one and a half inches wide. I can cut six of those out of one eight foot one by six. So we're going to cut these down to, uh, to that strip size and go from there. If you don't have the ability to rip this wood down, you can just buy the one by twos, which is actually one by an inch and a half at the big box store too. Uh, it's just a little bit more expensive. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them to 37 inches so they're more manageable on the, on the table saw and then we'll rip them. Oh yeah, one last thing. There are specific dimensions for the flag. You can look them up online, uh, but I'll leave a link down below to the calculator that I use. What's gonna drive that number is the size of the union or the size of the stencil that you buy for the union. I'll link to the stencil for the union down below as well. Basically 37 inches seems to be a pretty pretty sweet spot for the pre-made stencil that you can that you can buy. You may have to mess with sizes a little bit if you wanna go bigger or smaller. Who? Okay, so here is our current sitch. Uh, we've got our 13 boards, and here is our union. I just wanted to put it on there and see what it's gonna look like. Now I'm gonna go through these boards and determine which ones I like the grain pattern the most and kind of group them. Cool. Cool. Keep in mind when you're arranging your boards that the union up here, you want it to be kind of blank because you're gonna carve it anyway. So that's the reason you see me setting this down. And I just want as little character as possible up here and more character throughout the rest of the piece. A little tip that I got from John Builds It I'll link them down below, is to just kind of get an idea of where your union's gonna be. And then as you separate your union out, you just take razor blades. So basically what that does is that gives you a clean break, because we were on a break, right? Were we on a break? I don't know if you're on a break. It gives you a clean break in between your union and the rest of the flag. I'm gonna put a little bit more fire on this side and make this darker uh, so I can burn right up to that razor blade without actually burning over it. Also, it'll allow you to stain on each side of it at the same time. Pretty cool. Cool. So this is the part that's hard to teach. Cause you gotta work with the grain and you gotta do what you think looks good. I was trying to burn the edges, I think that looks a little better. But then sometimes, you know, you come in here and you see that it's kind of uneven. I think it's better if it's... that little contrast, if that makes any sense. So after you do your initial burn, you're gonna come back and you're gonna kind of spot burn each one of your boards. Now that you've stained the union, uh, the best way to do this is to 
uh, separate them into colors, separate them into your reds and whites or blacks and whites or whatever colors you're doing. Uh, it's just easier to stain all the boards one color. You don't have to reach across and worry about drippage because you know we don't like drippage. And just remember that it's gonna go, you're always gonna have a dark stripe or a red stripe at the top. So you'll have seven darks and six lights. If you don't, you either have too many strips or you did something wrong. Math. It's all you need, it's all you need. After I stained it, I left it to dry overnight. Uh, so here we are, day two, and let's see if I can do this without, I'm gonna cheat, hold on. Lift, before they slide off. That's what it looks like so far. I'm afraid it's gonna slide off. Next, I'm gonna clamp a straight edge to one side of the bench, uh, line them all up, and what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take uh, some clamps, if you can't see, this here, show you. Come out of there. Some of these have significant gaps in between them right now. I don't know if you can see that. Let's see if that in. See if we're straight up. There we go. So like this gap right here, uh, I'm gonna go clamp champ on this biatch and see if I can uh, and close up all those gaps. Then I'm gonna flip it over and just put on two furring strips to hold it together. Cool. Cool. All right, so that is the current situation. I'm pretty sure everything's lined up. Let me check. Let me check the other side, make sure that it's red, white, red, white. He's good. Now that that's all assembled, we are gonna hop over to the workbench and carve us some stars, kids. Some stars. And to do that, I, uh, I went to the Googles and through the Googles went to the Amazons and found this. And this stencil matches the proportions of our flag. So now we got a bunch of repetitive bull poopy that we have to do. Uh, basically, I'm gonna have to tree set all 50 stars and then go through and carve 50 stars. I know you guys can't wait. I will do some sort of sped up montage -y thing for you. Because I love you. And if you love me too, do me a favor and subscribe to this channel. Come on, guys, I'm doing it for you. You can do me that one thing. It's up to you, it really is. All right, now that 
now that we got those traced on there, I'm gonna use my router to route them out. Uh, I have a router with a little plunge base and a spiral bit. I'll link to all that in the, in the description, but this is what I use. You can do this a million different ways. <sighs> you ready for this? <clears throat> it's not monotonous at all. Next, I'm just gonna switch to my flex shaft and a little tiny, that's gonna focus ball burr there to kind of clean up the points a little bit and make the, uh, the stars a little starrier. So here we are and we could stop here, but this is build, dad, build. And we can't have this looking like everybody else's American flag build, right? How do we fix that? With fire. When you guys are working in the shop, do you guys ever hear the theme to Inspector Gadget? I do all the time. Don't copyright flag me. That was horrible.